I'll be doing a special review today. This is on Splatterhouse. Um, this is a rented game. My brother rented it for me. Um, so far as I've actually beat it, I'm halfway through it again on Savage difficulty. Um, it's not that it's not that hard. It's just that there's uh, you get less blood from enemies. Um, also, I have the Splatterhouse, the official Splatterhouse shirt. Won it at uh, the Halo Reach release for uh, the night well, the night it was released. I won it. I thought, wow, cool. Um, the back of the shirt says uh, the content of this game. I mean, the horrifying content in this game may be inappropriate for young children or cowards. And I'm just like, wow, I, I've got to have it. It's between this and an NFL, a stupid little NFL action figure that's about that tall. I got them. I got them both. I actually walked out of walked out of there with like ten prizes. Um, I got almost everything because I got every question right, <clears throat> except for one dork kid who actually he's not really a dork. He's just a he's like super obsessed about gaming. He actually walked out of there with a plastic Master Chief mask. I'm like, oh well, screw it. I hope it breaks on the way home. And it did. He came back in there about a week later to my, oh man, it broke. Can you refund? Nope. It was free. Can't refund. But this is Splatterhouse. Uh, this is what they did to the back over here. They covered up everything but the stupid rating over here. Really, really stupid. Um, here's the game itself. This is actually four games in one, believe it or not. And here's the uh, instruction book, but it has all four of the, I mean, all three of the original Splatterhouses in it. Mm. Those aren't very good. The first one sucks. I tried the second one. I didn't even make it past the title screen on the second one. The third one's not bad. You can actually move like uh, if you're like side scroll like that, you can move back and forth like that. Pretty cool. But um, well, you can like move from side to side like you walk to the left to right, and you can move up and down just slightly. It's it's not bad, but I I wouldn't play it. I prefer the real game. Um. Anyway, story wise, you're basically same thing. Jennifer gets kidnapped, um, in this one, I will say, she's a blonde. Everyone likes her, um, I don't, I don't really give a crap, though. It's a game character you can't like, you don't like a girl game character, that's just messed up. Um, and she get, gets kidnapped by Dr. West, uh, MD, and you basically have to go on a, you have to go hunt her down. Rick gets stabbed and almost dies, and the mask saves him, and you go on this very, very, like say it like this is this has so much gore in it. It's like you in real life, like you stuck a grenade to somebody and then they blew themselves all over the, all over the place. It's ten times better than that. Well, not better. Ten times bloodier than that. It's just, it's just wrong how how gory and bloody this game is, and it's called that for a reason. Um, but yeah, the gameplay it's basically a really big beat 'em up. Like uh, let's see um, example would be um. Thinks it's like God of War, without the blades and without the whole Greek mythology story. It's basically hack and slash, beat the crap out of everything, and this actually has an award for the bloodiest game ever. Even on the back right here, I'll take this stupid envelope out of here. Right there, it says the bloodiest game of E3. I'm like, okay. Uh, my brother brought it to me, and I'm like, he's like, try this out. I'm like, okay. Um, this is so bloody, I would not recommend this for anyone under the age of, like, 20. It's, it's that bad. Uh, even in the game, it makes references, it goes, uh, you get to fight this one big boss, and it goes, show him while we call it Splatterhouse, and then it goes, man, this, here's the kind of stuff that got us an M rating, and this is all the masks talking, and it, it's done by Jim Cummings, who does the voice of, the, uh, some of the Bionicle characters, and he does voices for, uh, different movies and games and stuff like that. Really cool. He had voiced some character in the original Fallout. I've not had a chance to play the Fallout Fallout 1 or 2, and I don't plan on it. I'm not into top-down games like that. But yeah, uh, the story, I beat it on e, on uh, Casual in about 8 hours. Just, just I mean, That's most because I was just going through everything, boosting blood points, trying to find everything. I've got, I've got, I've got to buy one more move, and uh, one more move to uh, complete the moves uh, collection on there, and then I will have like 10 achievements left and that's that's uh and most of them are worth five gamer score so it's so don't get it if you want gamer score because they are not easy to do most of them like kill 150 enemies with an enemy's arm you can do that you can beat them with your own arm you can beat them with their head you can even beat them with their leg if you want to it's crazy um it's not worth 
not worth the achievement points, but I mean, hey, it's I'm almost doing it on Savage difficulty, so that's gonna be like got like 400 and 400 or 500 gamer score out of it. Pretty good. Anyway, uh, you get an exclusive mask. It says it says Xbox exclusive. No. Nah. I think this game was released on PlayStation. It says it. It says that this is the same one for the PlayStation. I'm like, how is it? How is it an Xbox exclusive? It should say should say exclusive to this only, not five other systems. Really crappy though. The ma the mask isn't even that cool. It looks like it actually looks like a transformer. I'm serious. Um. Also, back to combat on this game. It's very big beat 'em up. You can go into Berserk mode, which is when the mask takes over. You grow like two feet. You get spikes out of your arms and back, and these big, huge blades that sort of uh, looks like um, looks like scimitar or something. Scimitar, however you say it, like those big, long, curved blades, uh, about three feet long. They come out of each arm, and you can spin around, and uh, they like extend. You like cross your arms and they extend. You splatter, smash, and stuff like that. Pretty cool. Um, you get you do get to pick up weapons, but they're few and far between. The most powerful one is the is actually a shotgun because it's almost one hit kill for everything. But the the one that lasts the longest is an uh, is steel pipe. And uh, I will say this: the side scrolling sequences sequences in this game. Sorry, I've been stuttering for my last few videos. I don't know why. The side scrolling sequences. Um. Yeah, they're okay. One of them, you drop down out of, through the floor, and you go in the side-scrolling sequence, and the mask goes, "Ah, yes, just like old times." And then I kill something, and he goes, "Hey, you were an, you were a killer in this. You were I mean, you're a killer in this life, and another life, and another game." So it it breaks the fourth wall like every time. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, rating. Um, yes, this game does have a lot of strong language in it. I mean, uh, it. <laughs> Uh, sexual themes, yes, big time. Nudity, yes, you collect pictures of your new girlfriend. Yeah, I've only found like one pi one piece from each, and it was always the head for some reason. I'll, I'm not gonna go back and try to find them. I mean, it's pointless. They none of them show up. They all show up in the survival arena. Uh, intense violence, yes. You chop things limbs off for goodness sake. Um, blood and gore, yeah, big time. Although I did do say it did not deserve. Oh yeah, sexual references. Yeah, it does. Say, it does have some of that in it. The mask. Uh, it's. He's not. A, Jim Cummings is not afraid to do already. Let me just say that. He he does anything. Also, this is gonna be the coolest case I've ever seen in my life. I mean, how could you not like? If I had a poster like this, I'd have it like right above my bed. I don't know, like flashing them. Yay! Just all <laughs> just staring at it. Uh, but it's pretty cool. Um. They are getting cheaper with their cases. Let's say they're trying to save money. No, this is how every game shatters. Watch this. I'm I'm barely even applying any pressure, and it's doing that. It, it, I mean, the whole the whole case is just collapsing on itself. Um, same thing with the back of the disc right here. When you go to push it down, you're accidentally put you're pushing it the wrong way. And this disc, uh. It's pretty cool. Even the disc itself has some of the goriest images I've ever seen on it. It shows some ripping something off. I actually have this as my background. Well, one of these is my background on my computer. It shows Rick standing there, and it cuts him off um, about right here. So all you see is his eyes down, and uh, you see you uh, you see until about the middle of his shin, and it'll uh, and he's holding like an intestine or something like that. And there's a bunch of those little creatures with the long claws, the little brown ones, running around him, and. Uh, He's just standing there and he's like holding his hand out like this, but it's a skeleton. It's got like bone in the middle of it. It's, it's really cool. You can find it on GameWallpapers.com. Check that out for all your game wallpaper needs. Really cool. They even have like top 100, uh, one called Cyber Babes, which is like Laura Croft background, stuff like that. Pretty cool. Also, I'd like to get a, give a shout out to, I think his name is Multi Nathan, I think. Really cool guy. Um, I added him on Xbox Live. He kick my butt at Modern Warfare. He's pretty good. Uh, his videos are awesome. Check out his video of his dog. It, it, that's got to be the cutest dog. I would say it's even cuter than my dog. Um, and he does a video showing special stuff in Fallout New Vegas, which I plan on getting pretty soon. Um, 
very cool. He's got like everything. He's got one of everything in the game, I think. It's uh, like one of every weapon. He's got a couple hundred items in his house on there. He's got all the armor, all the guns, all the drinks, all the. Uh, he's got everything. He's even got a few little people working for him. I'm like, oh, cool. So I'll refer to your video next time I, whenever I get it, I fall out New Vegas, man. Um, also, check out Peanut Butter Jelly 721. That's my brother. He's a pretty cool guy. He does Nerf. I am going to the Nerf War with him in Georgia. Um, I'm actually, yeah, I'm going. I was I was gonna say I wasn't gonna go. I mean, I'm, I was gonna say I was gonna stay home and play games, but hey, why not? It's Nerf. How can it not be fun? Um, and also about this game's rating, I give this game a eight out of ten, only because it could have been longer. The ending was so stupid. I'm not going to spoil anything, but the ending was stupid. The boss was a letdown. You beat the final boss in less than 30 seconds. It took me an hour and a half to get th through the final chapter. It took me an hour and a half to fight through all the bosses, because there's these huge things with horns on their head, and a big tentacle is their arm. It looks like uh, something from... Uh, it looks like the cover of that game... Uh, no, it's not World of Warcraft or something. It looks like the, that uh, big, huge lava guy from Yu-Gi-Oh. He, he, he looks like some evil devil-looking thing. It looks sort of like that. And I had to fight hundreds of those on the way there. And it took me an hour and a half to get to there, and I beat the boss in 30 seconds. Not that hard. Um, although, every difficulty in this game is set at hard itself. Um, it's hard, harder, and then hardest. It's, but it's actual, actually casual, savage, and then brutal. Brutal? And actually, it was actually not even that hard on Savage, and they're all the same difficulty. It's just you get less blood. That's how you power up. You get a button. You like your rib cage expands out like that. You get your spikes go up and you're like, yay! Pretty cool. But yeah, eight out of ten. I I might buy it. Well, there's no point in buying it, except if I if I if except if I just want to kill something. There's no point in buying it. I mean, if you do want to play this, rent it, please, rent it. I've got to send this back tomorrow, and I'm going to try to get all I can out of it. Um, it's not worth it for gamer score. It, it, the thrill wears off very fast. I'm surprised I'm still playing it this long. Um, and it's been three and a half days since I've been playing it. Um, the campaign, it, get, it gets old after a while. I mean, you're just fighting. You, the, there's only like ten different enemies in the whole game. Um, pretty cool, though. Also, a final update. Um... In my channel is not getting as many views as I thought it would be. I just want to say that it's weird. I mean, what, what what's wrong with my videos? What, what is it? Me? Is it? Uh, is it my channel? Am I not doing what you guys want? Um, what? Just just tell me what's wrong with it, my videos. Um, am I not speaking clearly? Am I not speaking loud enough? And I know I stutter every now and then. I mean, I don't do well in front of a camera. Um. Is it, uh, it, am I not doing, something? am I doing something wrong? Um, do I need music in the background? Um, am I, am I not filming it correctly? I mean, should I, should I be filming it over there? Should I be filming it over there? Where, where should I go? Should I be filming it right there beside that door? Should I be filming it right here on this wall? Where should I, well, what do you think? Just, just tell me what you guys want from my videos. And, uh, maybe you guys can help me along, maybe get some more views and more subscribers. Um. That's pretty much all. Oh, also, I do plan on getting, uh, what's the name of it? Uh, Dead Island. Once it's once the price drops a little bit, I'm not gonna have enough money and time to get Dead Island. Or I've, I've, I'm gonna be playing Modern Warfare Three pretty soon anyway, so I'll get it after I get Modern Warfare, and I'm gonna get Halo Combat Evolved Remake just because I I enjoy it so much. <clears throat> Well, guys, that's about all. And also, you'll notice that I actually run the entire 15 minutes. I mean, if I make a video, I'll make it as long as I can. I've run it all the way to the entire 15 minutes. Um, so I'll just end this one really quickly. Uh, I'll pretty much see you guys later. And also, if you, like I said, in all my videos, if you guys want to chat with me or play on Xbox Live, just send me a message on here tell me, telling me your gamer tag and telling me what you have and what you don't, and I'll tell you if we can play or not. Also, I have you have to be subscribed to me and watch my and I'll leave a comment on every one of my videos. So, uh, see you guys later.